call these pieces? What were they originally, of course? What do we call them now? No. Um, if you're going to be saying instead of being something chloride, a also known as line or quick line. Now, the quick line pretty much came from because it's the intense heat. This is referred to that. In this intense heat, you saw the grill. A barbecue grill that was literally melted partially in the heat effectively so that it's no longer level. And I put it in the bowl yesterday. We'll do this again for us. We have a kiss. First, you've got a water over it when you said it's not. Right? Yes, it's a transformation, but what else came off with this? It's not really hot. It's very hot. Yes. Smoke. Was that smoke, you think? Was it real smoke? You said it was. Started, well, I may have used enough for smoking because it appears like that. But it was the fancy of the one that it was steaming and you didn't know it was smoking. Did I say it was smoking? Yeah. Or was it a cigarette or cigar? <laughs> <laughs> I got my Both. Both. Okay. Now that you got me on that one, let's let's go ahead and I'm going to see what happens here. Because there's a little... I was going to put up on the board. I started it yesterday and the parent conferences kind of interrupted that. Okay. What happens is that when you apply water, nothing carbonate, nothing oxygen, nothing oxygen, nothing oxygen. So you put water and calcium oxide, you get calcium hydroxide and heat. It doesn't say you can make it. You know, maybe it was the I don't think it was smoke because did you smell anything with it? No. Okay. So it was a reaction and it appeared to have some sort of vapor come out. It doesn't say specifically if it was water vapor, it just is heat. So it must have been water vapor for steam. Because the steam, the water itself was being heated. So what comes out when you heat water? Steam. steam. So if I said it's smoking, I like didn't say correct. So, calcium oxide, carbonate with water, turns out to be calcium hydroxide, and it produces heat as well. What I will do today, I'm going to put no water in here. I may take another one. What I want to do is later this week or early next week to save those. And we're going to do a little bit today. We're going to try to make a mold. And what we'll do is make a mold. Right, class 2011, and if it's big enough, it's great. Is that really cool? Have a little momento? No? Mm -hmm. Woohoo! I can see all your excitement there. Mm -hmm. Yay! Yay! Yeah. You guys are tough crowd. Yeah. Yeah. Can you put it in the other bowl so we can see it? Like this one? No. Just put one of those in the yeah. one that's hot. Right so. Yeah, I'm going to do this again. I'm putting this on because it's you can get the wrong. Okay, well, for those who are coming close, you're not allowing anybody else to do. If anybody wants to come, you need to kneel down. First off, see that. And if the girls see it. Alright. We'll start out with a little. I can feel it. 
I can feel the heat. You can get the feel the heat. I can see it. I can see it. I can see it. I can see it. Oh, that's the same. Oh, that's the same. Now notice it's not, it's not an instantaneous or it doesn't happen in the afternoon. It's actually expanding, it's breaking down. If you think of ice when you put water on it and it kind of cracks and breaks up, kind of a similar reaction. I wonder if it's going to turn red. Why would it turn red? No touch. Please, I'm going to go because it's partially for this. So we're going to let this break down. I'll put in, I'm going to let this break down, put another piece in, and then we'll mix a little sand. And I understand it will harden after a while. It should be cement. Crude cement. But today's cement, they have all sorts of chemicals. But some of the old houses in Europe. It's amazing how water would do something like this. Back up, Christoph. So, what would happen if you just like threw this in a tank of water or something? I don't think it would be explosive because it would be underwater. Mm. It's a good question. It may heat the water up. This is reactive, but it's not incredibly reactive. For example, I was telling you about if you um, on the table there on the elements, the column. If you look at the table up there, everybody turn around. Mm -hmm. On the elements, on the very very far left, if you put any of those in water, you'll get an explosion. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, just one column. It's a type of How metal. Well, I saw a video my son showed me because he's taking chemistry at high school. <laughs> that was funny. Some British guys are doing it, and they put something, one of those kind of metals, in a bath of a plastic bath tub that was cool. And they had to basically drop it in and run away fast, and boom, I mean, it just blew up completely. There was another one where it was like one of those fireplaces, and it was just like in the lawn. They had like all these chairs around it, and it was incredibly stupid. So they just like lit it, and all of a sudden there's like this humongous fireball. Now, I'm here's what will happen. This is eventually, it only goes dissolves so much in water. Now, my prayer is it doesn't <coughs> heat the bowl up so much that it um, that it cracks. But these are free once from Galen, so. Yeah. Well, it's not my wife's. Um, I saw a video. Um,